When Phuket Today first met Norman Jones and Premjit Natalang at the JW Marriott Resort, they invited us to join one of their foraging expeditions into the jungles of Pang Na. Today we bring uh, all of our guests and especially Didma. This is the executive chef from JW Marriott. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, yeah it looks great. And to come to learn the secret of the rainforest food. Chef Prem grew up in these verdant forest lands, learning the secret recipes of her ancestors from her parents and grandparents. Watu, we call in Thai Watu. She would go on to carry that knowledge, the tastes and aromas of the jungle, into her successful really career life in Bangkok. Um, this one, this is grow a lot in the jungle, and the same family as the ginger. This is the betel. You can smell the betel. That that the people eat with betel nut. This is the uh, the one that I use a lot. This is the cumin leaf. Very strong you can smell. Eat. Yeah, this is nice. We met in 1998. I was out with a client in Bangkok at the Erawan Hotel, Grand Thai Hotel, and my client had a lady friend with him and they were keeping each other busy. So I was uh, minding my own business and look, looking around the room in the, in the bar and saw this magical being across the room. And that was her. In the early days, I owned a loyalty marketing company, um, and then after I met Premchit, uh, we eventually decided to establish a business making organic products for clients, and we started a wellness retreat business. basically do is, is you put in uh -huh. chili, yeah. peanuts, mm -hmm. coconut, yeah. uh, ginger. ginger, and the, and the lamb. And then we, you, wrap, yeah. you wrap it up like mm -hmm. this and then you eat But eventually yeah. the call of nature Mingham. became too strong and the couple left the bright lights and convenience of the big city at the beginning of this year to restart their lives on the pearl of the Andaman. On the beginning it is quite challenging for us because we are live nearby the department store that we can walk for 10 minutes to go to like Emporium. We live in the middle of, of Bangkok, Sukhumvit. And when we move here, the few months, the first few months, we have to drive, you know, to get some grocery. Yeah, the, the biggest difference between Phuket and Bangkok is everything is nearby in Bangkok. So it's a very convenient place to live in Phuket. Everything is spread out. So it takes longer to do the things that you did in Bangkok, for example, the shopping that Premchit mentioned. But other than that, it's great because we can be, in the, be at the beach in seven minutes. Yeah. Which you can't do in Bangkok. All of the jungle food the food that people in the old day eat like for, for 500 years and we go to the jungle when we pick and after that we come to eat in the middle of the jungle. I teach everybody you know how to uh, the, the, the ingredient is how to cook the, with the ingredient and what the properties for the medicinal or for the beauty that is for, to use for the daily life. I, I like to, to do this because it's this, this is the, they can learn a real uh, food and the real herb.
you know, if you want to do really, really a uh, real jungle, actually it should be a half day, like uh, three hours walking through, and after that, for cooking two hours. So Prem, I'd like to thank you for showing me the jungle. Yeah, yeah, welcome. Picking all the fruits and the and the vegetables and all the, all the leaves, and we cook together. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's it's a great experience yeah, for people who are really interested in food. It's something different than going into a restaurant. Right. Yeah. It's the whole atmosphere out here, eating on the ground, cooking on the ground, having everything with charcoal. So yeah. I, th I think it's a great thing what you do. And how about this? You feel itchy somewhere? You walk? Well, if you <laughs> if you have a problem with mosquitoes, it's pro it's probably not the thing, uh, right thing to do. Yeah, but. I promise you we'll have a great experience out here. Well, I've lived in Asia for nearly 23 years. So I think I've had a little bit of time to acclimatize and adjust and to figure out how best to live in an environment which you don't grow up in, which was Australia. I guess in Asia the biggest difference is generally things are somewhat less organised and somewhat less predictable. So you have to, I think, have a degree of patience and a degree of understanding that it is different and you either accept it and stay or you reject it and best to go home. We'd rather be here than Bangkok. Yeah. And there's no floods in Phuket. <laughs> Phuket Simon Cabaret. Featuring modern and traditional performances from around the world, Phuket Simon Cabaret is sure to have you gasping in wonder at the extravagant costumes, marveling at the outrageous performances, and falling in love with the glamorous entertainers. Phuket Simon Cabaret, let your imagination fly. To book tickets for Phuket Simon Cabaret, call 076-342-011 or visit PhuketSimonCabaret.com. Zayco sells high-quality standard, custom-made wardrobes and built-in kitchens with imported hardwood from Malaysia. We offer highly technical installations with quality, excellent service and professional teamwork. Call 086-272-9308 or visit our showroom on the Bypass Road. Get a unique style of shelter with a tensile freeform structure that can add to your building design and profit from its lightweight, large span, translucent fabric all the way from Europe. Contact Window Design and Awning Company on Chow Far Road, Phuket or telephone 089 724 6914.